This is one of the most popular power banks on Amazon, and I'm here to tell you it is not good. And when it comes to battery banks, I buy a ton of them, then I bully them by draining them at every speed imaginable, and then I recharge them like a maniac and hope that nothing burns up in the process. Now, this is a 10K battery bank with a 39 watt hour capacity. I do have to point out that most 10K battery banks only have 36 watt hours. So Victuminex, I don't know how to pronounce that, might be exaggerating a little bit. Then comes with a USB-C port, USB-A port, wall prongs so you can plug it in, as well as a bunch of built-in cables. You've got USB-C, USB-B, and a lightning. What is the lightning cable used for again? I kid. In terms of the counter, this thing is just a simple LED thing, just tells you how much is left and if it's uh, discharging or not. When it comes to voltage accuracy and stability, this thing is pretty terrible. Now the max output for this product is only 15 watts. This isn't a PD3.0 compliant battery pack. It's got one PDO, no PBS. And that PDO has one job and in terms of accuracy and stability, it's not good. It is the worst performing battery pack out of my last test group. In my discharge test, I pulled 25 watt hours out of the stated 39, so that ratio is not good. Now when it comes to recharging, it charges at 15 watts, which is incredibly slow. The total recharge time for this product was almost four hours. There's other products out there that are twice the capacity and charge in a third of the time. That's how slow this thing is. When it came to thermals, this thing ran hot. Hottest battery bank in my test group. Now in terms of size and weight, this thing only weighs 230 grams. Energy density wise, it's incredibly poor because it charges poorly, it recharges poorly. But Aaron, this is a budget product. What do you expect? Well, at $29, you are not getting much because my number two pick out of my last test group is only $37 and you get something that is just eight times better. I do like the idea of the wall prongs and the built-in cables and everything, but this is all just, you know, fluff compared to the reason why a battery pack exists is to charge things and it does it so poorly. Would I get it if I wasn't a reviewer? I wouldn't get it and neither should you. I'm on a mission to figure out what the best battery packs are in 2025. If you are planning on getting my recommended products, please use my link. I'm a reviewer, not an influencer. Do not care which product you get. I just care that you get the best accessories for your tech. Thanks for watching.